Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today I'm going to be making this drill bit storage cabinet. So the first thing I do is to get all my drill bits in one place just to see exactly what I have and what I need a cabinet for. And then I use a standard 2x8 yellow pine piece of board and rip it down to 3 inches wide. These are going to become some blocks used for the drill bits to sit inside of. After they are ripped down, I head over to the miter saw and cut them to length and I do them at about 6 inches long. The next thing I do is rip down a piece of 1 inch wide wood. This becomes a spacer and I make a line 1 inch in from the sides on my blocks. This will be where the drill bits will be mounted just to keep them in a straight line, a little bit more visually appealing. I then start drilling holes for all of my bits. Now naturally I have to use each size up bit to drill the previous size bits hole just so that they will fit snugly but not too tight and not too loose. This was a very long process but I just took my time and did what I needed to do on each of the blocks for the different bits that I have. I now just dry fit my bits into the blocks, if you will, uh, just to see that they are correct and make sure I have everything I need and I have enough blocks and enough holes. And here is all of my bits in their blocks. Now to the cabinet making portion. I measure how deep my cabinet will need to be and how long it will need to be. And then I use 3 quarter inch birch plywood to cut the back piece of my cabinet. I then begin ripping down strips that are 4 and 3 quarter inches wide. These will become the top and bottom pieces as well as the shelf pieces. Here you can see them laid out like they are supposed to be. I then begin the pilot hole countersink process along with the glue and then wood screws to hold everything together. I start with assembling the top and bottom pieces first and then move to the shelf pieces. Before mounting the shelves, I note the location of where they will need to be and then draw a line on the back of the cabinet so that I know where to drill my screws. I'm not gluing these shelves just because I don't feel like it's necessary. I did glue the top and bottom pieces and the sides I will glue when we get to that point, but I did not glue the shelves. For the sides, I make my countersink and pilot pre-drill holes, like I mentioned, and then I glue and attach and assemble and secure the side pieces of the cabinet. I then just make sure, 
just to double check that everything is square and it is. So here's the cabinet carcass. And now we are going to make the door of the cabinet. I get dimensions of how wide and how tall it needs to be or length and height, whichever one you prefer. And I cut that down on my table saw. The next thing I do is just lay it in place just to make sure that it's correct. And then I note the location of where my concealment hinges will be installed. I then lay out the Craig cabinet hinge jig, the concealment hinge jig where it needs to be, and I drill my holes. After that hole is drilled, I also use a 1 16th drill bit to make pilot holes for the screws that will hold that hinge to the door. I repeat the process for the other hinge on the door. I now install the hinges and I do that with my drill. Uh, no need to do it with a screwdriver since I have the pilot holes in place. I then note the location on the cabinet itself of where those hinges will be installed, the other part of the hinge, and I begin uh, using a nail set, nail punch, and a little block of wood as a spacer to note the location, and then I install that secondary portion of the hinge onto the cabinet carcass. And then I get the door in place. That's a little difficult, but I was able to do it. Um, after the door's installed, I'm marking the center portion here, the center measurement and pre-drilling holes for a pull handle. And then I mount that pull handle with screws going through from the inside into the handle. I then put on two coats of shellac, not for appearance, just to keep it sealed. Um, my shop furniture is very down and dirty, quick and easy. So I just do this to seal it. And then I mount the cabinet on the wall, doing it step by step to ensure that it is level and plumb and exactly where I would like for it to be. After it's installed, I put all of my drill bits in place and then I'm done. So here's the finished product with all of the blocks of bits inside. All right, so the cabinet is complete. As I mentioned in all my videos, it's down and dirty, quick and easy. That's how I like all my shop furniture. It doesn't look the prettiest. I mainly just did the shellac uh, to seal it, not necessarily for the looks, but have a handle here. Like I said, it's mounted on the wall. I have my floor drill press here, my bench top drill press here. Central location I think will be just fine. The blocks, um, I can either take individual drill bits out or I could just grab the whole block and take it to a workbench if I need, you know, whatever. So. I think it's going to work out fine and uh, I like the way that it turned out. So if you enjoyed this project also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And you can find plans for this on my website along with many other plans. My website is www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at RockyRiverWW. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.